Thank you, Perella. The Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office is looking for a missing man. We're told Leroy Palmer was last seen leaving his home on August 4th. They say he was traveling to an unknown location around midnight. We're told he was driving a champagne colored Chevy Impala with South Carolina tags reading 4667 PK. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office. In Anderson County, funeral arrangements have been announced for the 15 year old who died during severe weather. The coroner says Evan Kenley drove to his grandfather's house during the height of the storm on Monday. He got out of his car and was at the entrance to the garage when he was hit by a tree. Kenley was a sophomore at TL Hannah High School. He was training for the Explorer Volunteer Junior Fire Program with the Broadway Fire Department. His funeral will be held this Saturday at Mount Pisgah Baptist Church. People in North Carolina will be paying more for car insurance. The state's insurance commissioner just announced a settlement agreement. Car insurance increases will average 4.5% in both 2023 and 2024. Motorcycle owners can expect to see an average increase of 2.3% for both years. The insurance commissioner says North Carolina has seen rate increases due to more accidents and fatalities across the state. He says the crashes can be attributed to factors like excessive speeding, distracted driving, and driving under the influence. Change is coming to Gower Park in Greenville. The 21 acre park located on Evelyn Avenue will be getting a $1.4 million facelift. Mayor J Knox White was joined by city officials yesterday to kick off the renovations. We're told upgrades include adding two basketball courts, three tennis courts and 10 pickleball courts. That project was made possible through the neighborhood investment bond. What a timely needed and important investment that helps this park continue to grow and thrive and really for us to keep up with the recreational needs and wants of the citizenry of the city of Greenville. The courts at the park will be closed through January during renovations, but other facilities at the park will stay open. A portion of the an upstate road has been renamed in honor of the founder of Sphinx. The South Carolina Department of Transportation officially renamed a portion of East Washington Street to Stewart Sphinx Road yesterday. It sits adjacent to the spot where Sphinx opened his first gas station in 1972. The name change was approved by the General Assembly in May. There are now more than 80 Sphinx locations across South Carolina, which includes gas stations, convenience stores and car washes.